Hello clarinet players, we're going to be going over the song Stepping Stones in smart music. So when you go to start the song, the first thing we got to do is make sure we understand how it sounds rhythmically. So let's talk about some of the new things that we haven't done yet in class. This whole note here, we will count it like this. One. Try that with me again. Ready, go. One. Because a whole note gets how many beats? And so we're going to pulse it for four. This very last one over here on the far right, if you look at this last measure, it's going to go one, two, three, but that half note is going to be held for another beat afterwards. So we're going to go one, two, three, because half notes get how many beats? Two. Right. Take a moment and practice the counting for the entire song by yourself without me helping you. Pause the video. Now that you're back, let's try it together from the beginning. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Rest, rest, rest. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Rest, rest, rest. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Good, congratulations. So if you need to practice the counting with the recording, go ahead and do that at this point and, and get it really good in your head. Now we're gonna attempt to talk about the pitches and put everything together. When we go to look at this song, we need to talk about the pitches and the fingerings and try to play little bursts because we've got four big sections here. Let's try from the beginning. What letters are these? F, that's right, F, F, and then what? E, E, and then F. Right, can we practice those fingerings real quick? Where's F? Do you remember? Yeah, thumb in the back. And then, where's E? What happens here? That's right, P keep the F in the back, but push down that index finger right here. Are you using your left hand to play these notes? If not, you've got your hand switched like this, and that's wrong. So make sure your right hand is under the thumb rest, and the left hand is pushing these notes. Let's try those four notes. Remember, we're going to be using our newfound skill articulation, and we're going to go keeping that tongue arched in the back so no air escapes into the sides. Ready, go. Try that on your own. Do you sound like me? Are you getting the articulation in? If so, continue with the video. If not, guys, stop and work it out or come see me in office hours. You can't do this without learning those things. Once we get done with that, we're going to move forward to measure three. Measure three goes F, F, what? G, G, good. F. Remember how to play that easy note, G? You're just going to lift up on that thumb and play open, no fingers. So F, F, G, G, F. Try that with me. Ready, go. Did you hold your whole note the whole way? If so, good job. If you didn't, make sure you try that again and hold the whole note for four full beats. The next section we're gonna play is measure five and six. F, E, F, E, F, which is gonna be pretty easy, right? F, E, F, E, F. Let's try that together. Ready, go. Not too bad. If you sounded great on that, continue on with the video. If you didn't, practice that several times. Rewind as much as you need to, or come see me in office hours. Let's take a moment and proceed with this going forward from measure three through measure six. We want to make this one big phrase because that breath mark, though we're supposed to take a breath, this apostrophe looking thing, though we're supposed to take a breath there, that doesn't mean we're going to get a lot of time off. It's a split second of breath. So we need to put it together. So when we go to play it as a whole song, it's not so hard. Starting from measure three, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Did you hear my baby squeak? It's because I let my thumb off the gas and put it back on the F between this whole note and this F. Make sure you keep your thumb down the whole time. 
Don't do like Butler and get a squeak. <laughs> All right. And then our last bit of this is the last two measures. Uh, say the letter names with me. F, G, F, E, F, F, F. Good. We know all these fingerings. F, G, F, E, F, F, F. Let's try it together. Ready, go. Did you get it? If not, that's okay. Keep working on it. If you've done everything up to this point, then this last section is just one kind of little thing away from being able to play it. Let's try a whole run of the entire song. Before we go and hit play though, we need to set up our tracks. Turn the accompaniment down about halfway. The my part can be out loud. The metronome can be out loud. Now that you're ready to start the entire song from beginning to end, let's go ahead and hit the record button and see what happens. You can record with the my part on on this song. Just know that I'm gonna listen to you and if you just hit the play button or the record button um, and record the demo, I'm gonna be able to tell and I'll reassign it, okay? Um, it's supposed to help you not be a crux, okay? A crutch. <laughs> If you got that far in the video and you were able to at least play through most of those notes, congratulations. Give it a few more tries. Make sure you're really ready to record. Aim for 100% if at all possible. I'm proud of you. Um, the more we do these songs, the more we keep working through this, the easier it's going to get. I appreciate y'all. Keep up the good work. Bye.